Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the fourth week for June and opening up the final week. I'm very excited. We have back-to-back -back videos because of the delay. So we have a lot of end of the month videos coming next week. So it's just the best time of the month. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna start with the expenses. Uh, we spent $47.95 in groceries, $16.17 in spending, $49.98 in dine out. I spent $75.57 on medicine and pills to get rid of my bronchitis and so I needed antibiotics and stuff like that. Uh, then I spent $84.95 on a new pair of uh, Nike Airs. I got the Valentine's Day edition 2024. They're satin suede. They're amazing. They look like strawberries. I, if I remember, I'm going to insert a picture. I love, love, love them. And they were like, a 20% discount so you know and then I paid for rent uh, 297 usually it's 300 but we had uh, a little exchange so that's why I put uh, three euros less and then 29607 went into my car insurance yearly car insurance and I took that out of upkeep so in total this week it was 867 euros and 69 cents so a fairly high spending week but as I said rent usually it happens when rent is due because it's like 300 euros in its own so now let's flip to the actual amounts for this week and we'll go through from there. So we have an actual amount to work with an income of 400 euros and then the rollover, let's see. So as I said in one of the previous videos, I won't be adding these uh, rollover money to my next paycheck. I will be just adding these to upkeep, just kind of to, um, no, not upkeep, sorry, miscellaneous to kind of uh, add a little buffer. So we had nothing in dine out. So we had two euros left in groceries. So we spent 48 and three in spending. So we spent 17. So I will be adding one, two, three, four, five into miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to be, as I said, kind of a like a buffer envelope and anything that I spend that's not covered by any of my other envelopes. So miscellaneous has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86. Perfect. So there's that. So gas got 10, rent 50, utilities 20. Miscellaneous got 10 because the five plus the five that we just put and one month ahead got 50. So 48, 17 plus 50 plus 60 plus 30 plus 50 was 255, which means that nothing changed in any of the other categories. Short term sinking funds, beauty got 20, 10 got Christmas, Christmas got 10 and health got 20. That was 50, 95, <clears throat> bringing that 95 down to long-term sinking funds. Deposit got 25, pets got five, retirement got 20. So that was 50 as well, leaving us with 45. And all of that 45 went into, um, I just saw how bad this uh, cap is. Sorry for that. <laughs> it was <laughs> disturbing me. So 45 in total, 45 we put into savings challenges with zero euros left to budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. Perfect. So now a very quick uh, rundown to the last paycheck of June. We're going to be working with 430 euros for the last week of June. We're going to put 50 into groceries, 20 into spending, 50 into dine out, 10 into gas, 50 into rent, five in miscellaneous, and one month ahead we'll get a 50. So in total, 50 plus 20 plus 50 plus 10 plus 50 plus five plus 50 is 235. So 430 minus 235 is 195 we have left. We're bringing that 195 euros up here to short-term sinking funds. We're putting 20 into beauty, 10 is going into birthdays, Christmas each, and five is going into clothing. We're putting 20 into health and 20 into travel. So we have 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus five plus 20 plus 20 is 85. So 195 minus 85 is 110 
So we're bringing that 110 down to long-term sinking funds. We're putting five into babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, uh, five into pets, 20 in retirement, and five in technology and weddings each. So that's going to be five plus five plus 25 plus five plus 20 plus five plus five is 70 euros. So 110 minus 70 is 40 euros, and all of those 40 euros will bring here to our savings challenges. And that means 40 in total and zero euros left to budget, which means that each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget. So I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. And then next week we have a cash condensing video, a sinking funds update, monthly closeout video, and then we're gonna set up July. It's so crazy how it's July already. Um, and yeah, we're gonna run through my savings goals. We're gonna update my trackers, etc., and all of that good fun. We're gonna go through the expenses, the monthly changes and stuff. That's always like the end of the month is always that you get a uh, fun time to film videos because there's always so much to do. But okay, as I said, I will be back tomorrow. I hope you stay tuned for that video as well. But in the meanwhile, I wish you a very wonderful day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.